So what I want to show you guys right now is a really awesome way to create logos or mascot for yourself or your company. In the past, I used to have to contact graphic designers or spend a lot of time myself in Photoshop or Illustrator coming up with different logo ideas specifically to make the really good eye-catching ones I like. And that could take hours, if not days or weeks. But now with AI technology, you could do that using Leonardo AI and cut that time in one tenth. I'll show you exactly how to do that right now, how to make amazing logos utilizing Leonardo AI. So make sure you're on the homepage where it has featured models. And as you scroll down, you could see currently everything that's trending. Now watch this. What you want to do is in the search bar, just type where it says search gallery, just type the word logo in. Hit the search button and watch what happens. So now it's going to populate with a lot of AI generated art that's tagged with logo. For example, look at this very first one. I'm going to click this and you could see here where if this is the type of look you're going for, it looks very good. You could use this photo to generate your own type of logo. So up here in the prompt details, take a look. It says a sleek modern logo of 20 year old boy with glasses wearing black t-shirt. Say you like this kind of design and look and feel. Remember, you can click image to image. So if I click this button image to image, this says this will copy the prompt over to the AI generation tool as well as load the image into image to image. So you can create variations of this image. So let's make believe we like this style of logo. Click the button image to image. It takes us back over here to the AI generation tool and notice up top, it automatically pasted that prompt up here, a sleek modern logo of 20 year old boy with glasses wearing black t-shirt. Now, all you have to do now is just pick and choose some of the keywords you want to replace with your own. So you don't want a logo of perhaps this boy wearing glasses. So now what you would want to do is just replace this with something else. So for example, I'll replace a sleek modern logo of 20 year old boy with glasses with a sleek modern logo of, let's just say a lion and just put comma, bold colors, black background. So I'm simply replacing the boy with a lion. I'm gonna hit generate. And now Leonardo AI is utilizing the image to image tool and it will generate the same type of logo, but replace the boy with a lion. Okay, so that's not bad. But remember, if I don't like this particular style, remember to come up here in the fine tune model and then choose something else. You can choose a different fine tuned model, specifically one that's gonna have more characteristics for an animal type logo. So as I scroll Scroll down. I'm going to go ahead and go to cute animal characters instead, and that's going to keep the same type of characteristics that might fit better since I'm replacing a human with a lion. So use generate with this model, come up here again, hit generate, and now let's watch what Leonardo AI does, creating me a better logo, but this time using the cute animal character fine tune model. Okay, not bad at all. It's not going to hit it out of the park every single time because you want to make sure that even though you're replacing one simple keyword, it's going to keep the same characteristics, color tone, and everything like that. But if you don't want the lion to look as playful or as nice or as cute as this prompt, you might have to do some more tweaking and replace some more words, maybe add another adjective like replace cute with fierce, etc. And then Leonardo AI will usually get it right. Going back to Leonardo AI, let's try this one more time. Let's search our gallery and look for logo again. Hit the search button and now what I'm going to do is just scroll down until I find another type of logo that might look pretty good. Okay, on the left hand side I see one. And this one's called Stunning Logo for Marketing Agency using a fox face to face. So now what I'll do is just replace the word fox. So let's just do mule since my mascot is Metrics Mule. Hit generate and let's see what it can come up with this time. I kind of like this. You can look at the comparison on the left hand side. There's the fox and now you can look at my image. It's a mule. Now with a few more tweaks and changes I might get it perfectly just right. But just for the simplicity of replacing one keyword, in this case the word fox, with mule, it did a pretty good job going from a fox to a mule. Okay, now let's move on to one more. Check this one out in the middle. Do you see this logo here with the letter K? This time, instead of doing image to image, I'm just going to simply recreate my own using this prompt and using this same fine-tuned model, Leonardo Diffusion. Now, why would I do that? Sometimes when I've utilized this image to image prompt, when I hit image to image with this prompt and I just replace the letter K with the letter M, it still gave me a logo with the letter K. So in this case, instead of hitting image to image, I'm just going to simply hit the copy prompt button and then just start all over with this same prompt, but not using image to image. I noticed that this was generated with this model, Leonardo Diffusion. So all I have to do now is click this arrow button and it will take me to the prompt tool using Leonardo Diffusion. And now I'm just going to copy and paste that prompt in and this time replace the letter K with the letter M, hit generate and see what happens this time. 
Okay, so now check that out. So I just replaced it with the letter M instead of the letter K. Now that worked out perfectly. Now let me just show you very quickly what would happen if I used the generate image to image one. You could see it might not work out so well. Once I hit generate, you'll notice a problem. A lot of times, instead of replacing the letter M, it will continue to have the letter K. So do you see what I mean? Even though I replaced it with the letter M, it still has the letter K. So that's why in this instance, I chose to utilize this prompt but not using the image to image instead, I just simply copied and pasted the prompt and kind of began fresh. And that way it gave me the letter M. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'll be the first to know when videos like this come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.